How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to talk about something a bit different. I wanted to talk about the overall progress of the channel, the restrictions, the requirements, and the future of the channel along with how you can potentially help me with the last requirement that I need to actually start getting paid from YouTube or from AdSense for enabling monetization. If you pay attention to the requirements I'm pointing out to you right now, you will end up seeing how YouTube works when it comes to this topic, and it might even help you if you ever decide to create your own channel one day. Uh, but just so you know, some of these requirements may change at some point. So let me start out by saying that YouTube is such a difficult platform. It's very tricky. The changing requirements, the changing policies over the years have made it extremely difficult for small content creators like myself. Both of those things have created such huge entry barriers that I would say it's almost impossible for somebody that's just starting out to be successful on this platform now. Some of the major policy changes came because of the COPA situation a few months back with YouTube violating the law. Because of that, us content creators have to pay the price with the new age restrictions from the FTC, which have had a very negative effect when it comes to the views and subscribers, in my opinion. I think I've had only 250 subscribers in the past two years, if that tells you anything. I've done pretty well with the views this past year, but subscribers, I think some of the restrictions have played a major role in that, even before it was made public. When it comes to the COPA situation, I'll just tell you, all of that was pretty much because some parents simply didn't know how to raise their kids, and still don't. And they literally give their five-year-old a smartphone, which is a fantastic idea. I mean, what, what could possibly go wrong with that, right? And because of that, people like me have to deal with restrictions now. And if you think about it, who is the main audience for gaming-related content? It's people below the age of 18. And to other things in the past that YouTube has done has greatly impacted that as well, especially from a subscriber standpoint. What you are looking at now is my actual public hours count. This is a requirement to get into the YouTube Partner Program. This was very controversial when Google took over YouTube. That's when everything really got flipped upside down. That's when the requirements became a huge problem and a huge barrier for these small content creators. They required everyone to have at least 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours watched in the previous year just for YouTubers to place ads on their channel or to join the YouTube Partner Program. This is the last requirement that I need your help with. The total hours watched in the previous 12 months, I think that is the most ridiculous requirement YouTube has to become a partner. A few days ago from the time I'm making this video, you can see it now, I actually hit 3,000 hours watched in the previous calendar year, which is good. I actually did not expect to hit 3K hours watched so quickly uh, because less than six months ago, I believe I was at about 1,400 hours watched. So that is more than doubled, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, I need another thousand. And it's the last requirement I need to be able to apply for the YouTube Partner Program, which will basically allow me to place advertisements on my videos so I can actually make a small amount of money for the countless number of hours that I spend making and uploading content. Basically, guys, it's not all about the money for me. I love making videos. I love having a voice on here. It's a great hobby, and it gives me a reason to actually wake up every day. But at the same time, I put in more hours into this than most people do at their actual job per week. I average over 50, 60 hours per week editing, uploading, recording video, recording commentary, and creating videos to show you just some of my content. So with that being said, I deserve to be making at least something for all the time that I put into this. I wish YouTube did things differently because people similar to me, people like me, 
have been the reason why YouTube has been successful in the first place. And we don't get any credit. We don't even get paid anything at all from them. At least not yet. For me, at least. I mean, even a 5 or 10 minute commentary video like this can take me 10 to 20 hours to get everything together and to get it done right. You wouldn't think it would take that long, but trust me, it does. And you have to record the gameplay. Edit that, record your voice over it, edit the commentary, and sometimes you have to write out the script for commentary videos. And that's all very time consuming, just for one video. So anyways, how can you help me get to 4,000 hours watched? Simply, just watch my videos. To make that easier and more convenient, I actually have a few playlists that you can choose from. Like for Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefield. Those are some of my larger playlists. If you want to check those out when you have nothing else better to do, I would really appreciate that. We need less than a thousand hours at this point. We are getting very close. I have met that thousand sub requirement, obviously. Just need to get to that 4,000 hours mark for the previous 12 months. And hopefully it never falls below 4,000 hours watched once we do get there. But either way, that is a shit ton of hours and I need your help getting there. Another thing you could do, and I'm just throwing this out there, putting in a comment helps the video get more views. I actually prefer people to comment something versus them liking a video because it causes other people to join in and it keeps the conversation going. I think the algorithm is broken for the like and dislike feature, but hey, if you want to drop a like on my videos, that's cool too. That will counteract the haters at least. Another thing, and this really goes back to the playlist, my buddy said every time he goes to sleep, He's actually going to run my largest playlist, which is my Battlefront playlist, to get my hours up. You guys don't have to do that, but that's a really creative way to help me out. If I could get just 10 people to do that for 12 days, we would get that 4,000 hours watched so quick. If you do decide to do that, you are a hero to me. I hope you know that. Just make sure that you keep the overall volume at at least 1% and the YouTube video volume at at least 10%. Otherwise, the watch hours will not count. That's something that YouTube and Twitch has done to limit views or viewers as well. But the next topic I wanted to bring up in this video is the future of this channel. You guys know I play a lot of shooter games. I know there hasn't been a lot of good games released over the past few years. I'm hoping that will change later this year. I haven't really kept up with streaming either since I stopped playing Battlefront. I really just need one or two new shooter games to come out that are somewhat popular games that I like playing. And things will definitely pick up for me with that again. It's just a matter of when those games will be released or created. It will happen eventually, I can tell you that. And I have thought about creating a second channel to go along with this one to cover real life stuff. I could possibly start on another content site altogether, but right now I just don't have the time for that. I'm currently trying to finish and graduate from college as well. I could also uh, actually go into the military at some point too. So there's a lot of things up in the air right now, especially with this COVID-19 crap. My first priority as of right now though is to finish school because that will free up so much time but we'll see how that goes, especially with the uh, COVID-19 situation, like I said. That has made things a little bit more difficult with college, obviously. Back to the gaming-related stuff. I'm very excited for that Sandstorm game to come out, so I hope you guys will want to watch that. As far as the next few months, I have a lot of CSGO videos that I want to upload. I plan on doing some videos on exposing some cheaters as well. It's a brand new playlist that I just made. I think I'm going to call a few more people out on their BS, which is always fun. So watch for those videos over the next few weeks. In the future, I think I'm going to start doing more commentary videos instead of gameplay videos. So that will be a small change. I've noticed that the gameplay videos haven't done as well 
as compared to the commentary videos. Now for Call of Duty, if you watched my last video, I have no immediate plans to showcase any gameplay for Call of Duty. I'm very pissed off still about MW2 Remastered not having a multiplayer. I've been so disgusted about that, which is why I haven't even done a video in about a week. That was one of the things that I was looking forward to over the past few years, was playing that game fully remastered at some point. Now it seems like I have nothing big to look forward to when it comes to gaming. It's really just a shame that Call of Duty is what it is now. That series has been number one for me in total views. Probably over 50% of my views on YouTube have come from Call of Duty related videos. But now I just, I, I refuse to show anything on those newer Call of Duty games. None of them are worth my time. But we'll see how that goes. I hope that we get the multiplayer eventually for MW2. But I have no further comment on that. Anyways guys, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. That's kind of where I'm at with everything. If I can think of anything else that I missed, I will post that in the description or in the comment section of this video to keep you all up to date. But thanks for checking this video out, and thanks for helping me get to 3,000 hours watched so far. We will get to 4,000 soon with a little bit more help, I'm sure of that. But for right now, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.